Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today with another Alina Cuddle, Alina Crafts project share. Today I'm featuring two new dies that are in her store. And this is the first one right here. This is the Swan, and it's absolutely adorable. Looks like that. And then I'm also featuring this beautiful uh, lace heart nested die set that's in her store. It's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, so let me show you my little swan projects first. So first, um, I've created this, and I did use the Alina Craft pizza box that's in her store, and I was totally inspired by Natalie, who's put some bling on it. She had shared some pizza boxes that she created, and um, she had one with a swan on it, and I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. So um, totally inspired by her. But I use the new swan that's in her store, and I'll zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, what I did was I popped mine up on dimensionals. I popped um, the first two wings on dimensionals so it would give it a little bit of um, dimension, and I really like the way that that looks. I did layer it um, with the gold glitter cardstock, um, and then um, the, the nose and the crown also in gold glitter. I did use those really pretty leaves. These are also in Alina's store. Um, absolutely gorgeous to layer behind the swan. And then I used this beautiful um, double layer chunky glitter rosette that is from Christina's D Stash. I shared a video um, a few videos back um, sh showcasing those rosettes. They're absolutely amazing. And then I use this beautiful um, blue tone, blue gold tone um, trim that I picked up off of AliExpress. I'm absolutely loving that trim. My friend Tar Finch, she shared that trim with us. And girl, I love it. I love that trim. I feel like I need to order some more. Um, it's just so pretty to play with. So um, love my pizza box. And then this word smile is a die um, from my stash. Um, it came from another store, but um, absolutely love it. And then on the inside, um, it's just blank. It's just a, a birthday box. And then I did put some really pretty trim from Hobby Lobby um, around the little pizza box. So that is my first project share. And then I did make um, a pretty card and it looks like this. And again, featuring that beautiful swan. This time I used some really pretty um, copper um, heavyweight cardstock for this particular card. And again, I think I used the Maggie Holmes Gather paper collection, and I think this came out super pretty. I'm sending this out to a special friend, and um, I just love it. And again, let me just get in a little closer so you can see the really pretty swan. I did the same thing on the first one with using the uh, pop dots to give it dimension. And then I did the double layer with the white and the uh, copper color, and then the nose and the crown are that same color as well. And I did pop a little bling on the crown. I thought that looked really, really pretty. And then again, I used some of that really pretty, um, this is white and gold ribbon trim that I picked up off of AliExpress. And then I used some other dies that were in my sash uh, to create the card base, um, the sweet and the friend, and then this double stitched um, square die. I've shared this with you all before, but um, it is a die from my stash and I absolutely love it. I did use some corrugated cardstock on this um, second layer of my card and I just love the dimension and all the texture that it has. And what I'm planning on doing is putting a little um, stand on this so that my friend can just pop it up on her desk or put it in her crafty space in her room. I don't. Um, I think that would be just really pretty. So I love the way that that came out. So that is my second project share. Now I'm gonna show